We haven't talked about it, but for those who don't know, I'm a big, big, big Tyson Fury guy. However, I'm not biased with Tyson Fury in regards to I'm not going to be like, man, I want Tyson Fury to win because I've been a big fan and covering him since motherfucking 2010 and shit. That's not how it is. However, overall, he's the better boxer than Deontay Wilder. But guess what? He can get knocked the fuck out. Right? Wilder will tell you himself. He has said it. He says, yeah, everybody know I'm awkward. That windmill shit. Do we need to go through the windmill shit? Thank you, Vice Miami. Like where all Wilder got to do is stun you. And then his V trigger, that's his power meter. It start flashing. Then he start doing like that juke shit. Like that juke KO he did to um that, that special move. That he did to um uh Bermain Stavern when he did that he, he, he. all that shit. What about the genesis of the windmill attack when he did to Gerald Washington? Gerald Washington, if you looked at it, he wasn't even hurt. It's just that that shit, and then the referee was like, We can't allow that. It's too crazy. He gonna kill Gerald Washington. And that's how that shit started with Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil was ringside. That shit's crazy, man. Like if he saw it, he had him stunned. But what if what, what if the referee, what if it was somebody like motherfucking Steve Smolger or somebody? Or or um what's that referee that Jim Lampley hate? What's that dude's name? Lawrence Cole. But motherfucking uh Gerald Washington would have been dead in there if he would have got attacked with that windmill. Tishri, be honest. Do you think Heyman will let? Do you think Heyman will let Fury get out with a close decision? See, I'm glad you're not a no good scumbag now, Boom Boom Coil. But we're going to talk about that. That's a very good question. We know, right? Okay. Do you believe? Do you believe? Now, this is a debate chat. This is what we do here. Do you believe that Tyson Fury is the overall better fighter, boxer, fundamentally sound than Deontay Wilder? Tyson Fury's got the foot movement advantage. He's got the punch variety advantage, even though if he gets too overzealous, he might uppercut himself in the face. But Wilder's not known to go to the body much, but Fury does. What fight was that when, when, when Wilder showed some very good... Um, was it the first Bermain Stavern fight where he was going to the body with the straights? Punch variety, Fury got him with that, but that intangible. Wilder can be getting, not, getting, getting, getting outboxed the whole 12 rounds and then knock Fury ass the fuck out. Does the Gypsy King got the Gypsy Chin? I've been hearing so much shit over the last, because over the like last uh, uh, eight years or so I've been on YouTube, I've been getting really, really, really in touch with the, um, with the uh, English culture and the traveler community. So if you don't know what travelers are, basically, excuse my language, but I'm going to keep it 100 with you. They like the niggas are like Irish people, right? Kind of. And I'm not saying it to be derogatory. Like they like the hood, you know, like, like they got known for being like like uh, uh 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 gypsy chins. You see what I'm saying? Like they like known to be like you know, like they don't take no shit. Yeah, they gypsies. That's the best way to say they gypsies. So trust me, I'm not saying it out of ignorance. I know out of research. Like oh, right, they just motherfucking like you know they they gypsies, but. Gypsies are known to have like uh uh like gypsy chins, right? Like the bare knuckle shit. Like you know they sound they they handle like family matters, like in the backyard and shit, and they fight. Yeah, gypsies are very similar to black people. You see what I'm saying? So the crazy like what I'm asking is this: Does Tyson Fury have the gypsy chin? He's supposed to be the gypsy king. Supposed to be the gypsy king. Does he have the gypsy chin? 
because all it takes is one. And if you know, Deontay Wilder had those um those hand surgeries, so that shit in his hands is bionic now. So he's got all kind of cr listen. So in order for Tyson Fury to be most successful, he can't take any risk. And to not take any risk, it will likely be a boring fight. If he goes in there and tries to showboat and want to put on a show for the American audience, then Tyson Fury's likely going to get knocked the fuck out, right? Isn't it a fair assessment? But if he goes in there and if it's a boring-ass nasty fight and he tries to stay away from and, and avoid that right hand with, you know, you know, with dear life, then he has a great chance to win, right? But if he goes out there and tries to do that fucking showboat and shit and, 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 and tries to slip and that shit connect and then all Wilder got to do, remember, all he got to do is get you just a little bit stunned and then he goes full windmill attack. Full windmill attack. We have seen no one recover. You know? Yeah, he better not do that shit in the corner. He gonna get knocked the fuck out of that corner. That shit gonna be biblical. I'm gonna be ready though.